Okay, so we're going to do a phase diagram for NH3. It has multiple parts, uh, but before we even do part I, let's draw the phase diagram. Pressure versus temperature. That, uh, yeah, and you don't even need to know what the particular compound is. They change for compounds, but the ones we want you to know is just a basic thing. So we got solid, we got a liquid, we got a gas. Let's label all the points that we know. I'll put TP for triple point. Up here, what's this one up here called? Critical point. Yeah, CP. I'll just put CP for critical point. Uh, so part I is label triple point, we already did that, fantastic. Part two, or double I, draw and draw an X where a titration would occur. So you want to put an X if you're doing the titration with ammonia. Where would that occur? What do you think? Happens in the liquid state. Somewhere up there, you better have an X. Okay, part three. Triple I. Uh, mark the normal, normal boiling point with the letter E. Mark the normal boiling point with the letter E. How are you going to find that? Well, the boiling point, that's where you're going between liquid and gas. So you better have a letter somewhere on this line. That's the only place something can boil. If it's not there, you really went crazy. <laughs> so what pressure does the normal boiling point happen? One atmosphere. So you just pick a random spot somewhere that's going to intersect with this line. And better put an E right there. Okay? And that will happen at one atmosphere, wherever that is. It has to be above the triple point and below the critical point. Okay, that's part three. Part four. It's a, it gives you the point 55 degrees C and 400 tor. Draw an isotherm that demonstrates <coughs> sublimation. Okay, so you need an isotherm. That means something that's going to be a vertical line. Isotherm means temperature is constant. Okay, so we need the point 55 degrees uh, and 400 tor. What line rep represents sublimation? Yeah, this one right here. So you know that point has to be somewhere right here because you're going from the solid to the get to the gas uh, so that's 400 tor so you probably want to keep your axis consistent you can call this 760 tor is one atmosphere and then this temperature is going to be 55 degrees C an isotherm would just be a line it goes like that. And that's it. Uh, yeah, that's all the parts. It wouldn't go all the way up the axis, just in between. Like, how do you know how long to make it, or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't really matter, just going through the line. Okay. But it can't go up, because that wouldn't sublime. Okay. It would just stay in the solid. So it has to go from the solid. I need a line that's vertical, going from the solid state down to the gas state, and that's it. The length doesn't really matter.